Okay, so I've had a call from my dad. He's a bit worried about his fish. This is something's wrong. They're not swimming around properly, not behaving properly. He asked if I can pop around and have a look. He's a bit worried because he's going on holiday in a couple of days for a week. He just wants to have a little look around, see if I can see anything. Here we are. So it's a pond. And yeah, the fish do seem a bit subdued really. Not... Especially that one there, look. It doesn't look right. Definitely something going on. A tell telltale sign if they're not swimming around and that being active, especially like the one of one of the koi's there, the ghost koi's. Um, can't see anything. That's better. Just sat on the bottom. Fins clamped in a little bit. Something's upsetting them. So first things first, just test the water really, see what's going on there. Okay, got some water. This particular test kit is. Pretty easy, five drops of each vial. And then um, give that 10 minutes, come have a look, see see what's what's the story. Test is done, let's have a little look. And um, unfortunately, that there, I don't know if you can see the color of it, that should be yellow, so that's gone green. So a little bit of a white background there. That's That's not good. Ideally, it should be at the top, so... He's probably at 0.5 really, at the moment, it's hard to see on the camera. Okay, so that's not good, so we need to get that down. Um, yeah, I need to find out how or why he's got that much ammonia in his pond, I don't know what he's done. Um, but it's really not good for the fish, they won't like that. Okay, so go and have a chat with him. See see what he's done recently, something must have happened. They won't just change, so the ammonia levels won't just change on their own. It's either been feeding them too much or he's done something else. Um, but we need to find out, have a quick chat with him. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so just had a little chat with him. And um, he hasn't been feeding them too much, but I think he's been tinkering around with his filter system too much. He, he's really... He likes to clean it by the sounds of it. I know he obviously does clean it, but I didn't realize he cleans it as much as he does, but he's been doing it about once a week during the winter. And I think probably as the water's been warming up, he's been feeding them as well. That with a combination of cleaning it and also feeding fish, do a partial water change just to help dilute it down. And then um, no feeding, just to give the bacteria a chance to catch up. And it won't be there for long, it'll probably be there for like a week or so, and then it'll start to break down into nutrients. The next the next part, it will be nitrite. So the back, one bacteria in the filter will break it down into a nitrite. There's another type of bacteria which will then break it down to nitrates. And nitrates are safe. Nitrates are what plants use as nutrients. Um, so that's fine, so that's good. So that's where you wanna be. But yeah, with, with the filter system, you know, no, no matter how big it is, not enough bacteria and there's too much ammonia, that it won't be able to keep up. So all filters need to be dirty. I was just trying to explain to my dad, it needs to be dirty for it to work. You just need to clean it when it needs it really. So if you can leave your filters all year without clean um, and, and they were still catching the dirt and it wasn't getting blocked, just leave it alone. The more, and the lo so the longer you can leave it for, the better. He was saying, you know, he gets a bit of dirt on the side and he, and he cleans it off. The whole thing should be dirty, just not blocked. That's as easy as it is. So if you open up your filter and you think, mm, it's been two or three weeks since I haven't cleaned it. But if you look at it and it looks like it doesn't need to clean, just leave it, it's so easy. Yeah. The longer you leave it for, guarantee you, your pond will flourish and it'll do a lot better. Keep tinkering around with it. Effectively, every time you clean it, you're gonna lose a lot of good bacteria. So just remember, if it's blocked, Clean it. If it's not blocked, don't. Just leave it. Dirty is good. 
If you need any pond equipment, you can visit www.sussexpondsuppliers.co.uk. At the moment, you can get £20 off your first order. We'll leave a link in the description below. Thank you for watching.